let us all that we can to build a better future. Kira. Yes. Daniel. Yeah. We got a show to do. And yeah. Let's pull up our first story. Give it up. Or I guess the Democrats like this. This reminds me of that skit from SNL when they had um, uh, Dave Chappelle on there, and they're like, they were, he was like with his white liberal friends, and Chris Rock was oh, there yeah, too. Oh yeah, that was that. And that then, was yeah, a really good sketch. And, 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 yes. and, and there was a scene where they're saying, "Let's give it up to Latinos, <laughs> to Latinos," because oh no, turns out the Latino vote in Florida went to That's not awesome. Biden, Trump. It yeah. went to Trump. Shout out to Case Study Q Beaters. These three videos, let's play them back to back and find out what happened in Florida. I'm journalism professor at Morgan State University, politics editor at The Grio, and an MSNBC political contributor, Jason Johnson. Gentlemen, good morning to you both. Chuck, let me start with you because we were talking about Miami Dade. What do you see as you dig through those numbers? What happened to Joe Biden there? Let's talk about what happened there. I think it's super interesting. I've been doing this for 31 years, and I've never seen such a dramatic swing. But let's clarify something. Except Joe four Biden years won ago. won Latino vote statewide in Florida. <laughs> and if he would have performed at those same numbers that Steve just described in Miami-Dade, Donald Trump would still win because we lost white voters by a larger percent as well. So we can't lay this all at the feet of blame on Latinos. He underperformed across the board. And I'll say it again, Donald Trump won a majority of white seniors and a majority of white college educated. But there was definitely a problem in Should Miami Dade. Us. And I've been the Mexican redneck crying wolf around here for a long time about the Latino vote. So much so I wrote a book about it this summer outlining what we should be doing to start earlier in these Latino communities, building a narrative to push back on the socialism argument, but also meet people where they are. That Mr. Johnson actually talks about all the time with people who look like our community, being in the community with PACs and leadership run by Latinos. There's not another woke white consultant that's gonna save us or fix this problem. And all the people said, amen. Uh, hey, Jason, um, I tell you, the, the, the message that really worked, I <laughs> heard it in Florida. I'm playing uh, two with my Cuban wife under the table and right now. <laughs> other people uh, in, in Miami-Dade, that socialism argument that Joe Biden is a socialist, which, of course, certainly seems laughable to, to those of us who have followed his career and seen him often attacked by Democrats for what? being too close to credit card companies, too close to the big banks. Uh, but, uh, but it worked with Cuban Americans. It worked with immigrants from Venezuela. It worked with immigrants from Nicaragua. Uh, Joe, you know, I, I do wonder about that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to digging through some of that data because if you actually believe this is not Bernie Sanders, it's Joe Biden. If you actually believe. All right, let's play the second video. Defund when we the, believe you were never going to vote for a Democrat anyway. That's kind of like white voters who are like, Joe Biden's going to defund the police. He picked a DA as his VP. The guy is not about to defund the police. So I think as we dig through those numbers, I, I wonder if when you talk to some of these native Spanish speaking or Spanish speaking in their homes when they grow up voters, if they're going to say the socialism was what actually made them concerned about Joe Biden or did they just like Donald Trump? Oh, that's not but it, you liar. I think the bigger issue is this, and, and, and I'm glad Chuck mentioned this because I've been talking about this all along. This is just like during the primary where you had a large number of african-american analysts and reporters who were like look we got to see what happens in south carolina or what happened in georgia in 2018 there need to be more experts and more journalists and more analysts with deep relationships and connections to spanish it's not and saying Latino anything american communities so we can disaggregate these things because in the same mean? way that joe biden may have underperformed in miami day we need to do a more of a bad job, job do a good job in arizona he had mixed results in what happened in texas so i I think this hopefully will be the end of anyone ever saying people of color. Uh, and hopefully it will be the end of us just saying Latino in general. We'll talk about Puerto Rican Americans and, and Central American immigrants and Cuban Americans and make those distinctions both by color and language and race. Yeah, I mean, and that's something that obviously we've been saying here for quite some time. No, uh, no, in fact, you uh, I was going to uh, say, years really? ago, Sir, I, I don't started watch the show, uh, so explaining maybe. to Democrats uh, <laughs> that they Morning, Joe. Work. At the Hispanic vote, the Latino vote, and, and there's such a distinction. Okay, I wonder if you think to what extent. Let's, let's, let's pause it real quick. Yeah, I just want to say. So the overall answer I'm getting from this entire thing is it's the voters' fault, and we haven't segmented voters enough. We've been 
too racist in the way that we break down groups. Yeah, we just yeah. see brown people. Like we just it's all homo- you know, it's all homogenous. We don't we don't see it. We don't. By see the way, else. you know you know what the problem is the problem that these Hispanic people might have. It's the socialist thing. That's what did it. You know, yeah. the, it didn't have anything yeah. to do with the fact that Trump would call Biden socialist and then Biden would be like, no, I don't want to give you health care. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> inadvertently, what the, so wait, so let's, let, exactly what you said, let's break wow. that down. What they're saying on MSN is that Trump did a better job of marketing himself to Latinos, the same group that those same reporters said hated him and anything he stood for than that themselves. But the solution to this problem is to have more reporters in these areas that don't understand the problem or how to fix it. And by the way, you know what I didn't hear in any part of that? Anything economic besides the, hey, maybe they didn't like that socialism actually, actually, part. Actually, there, there is a question that I have in regards to the economic point of view. Because, like, again, uh, that wonderful pundit up there was saying, uh, we need more reporters in these areas. Does that mean CNN and ABC and Fox News and MSNBC are actually going to start funding their investigative journalism wings again, start hiring more on-the-ground reporters? I mean, are well, we looking at To do at what? To, We've but, seen what they do with yeah, events. Yeah, yeah yes. we, we, we've seen what they do. So in other words... Well, I haven't seen, but you guys told me. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. We, we, we've seen what... That what happens and more people not, get pushed over by reporters is a good day indeed yeah, and, and, and the thing is a lot of these reporters too I mean you know the thing about being a, a, on corporate media is and especially when you watch your local news stations you know you got people you know in different uh, you know who come from different parts of the country they're just there to do that job as, as a gig they're not there to solve yeah. problems or talk about lead and drinking water or uh, yeah. communities it's, that are that that yeah. are that are falling apart because of lack of economic opportunities and so much more. Um, this is this is the problem that we we've been calling about for about the Biden administration and the Biden campaign, and that is they weren't reaching out to Latino That's voters. Right. They weren't re- reaching out to young people. They were basically trying to reach out to conservative Republican voters. And by the way, you know who did a really good job of reaching out to Latinos. Bernie Sanders campaign, and yeah. you know what they did when Bernie Sanders capitulated? They said, no, we don't want that. We're we don't good. want it, we don't need it, and we don't need your help. That's what they said to Bernie Sanders and the progressives. So if the Democrats do win, that's great. It's by the skin of their teeth. But you know what? It's not going to solve the problem because there is a growing anger and resentment towards the Democratic Party. Mm-hmm. Here's something that people aren't talking about. A lot of people of color, African-American voters, Latino voters voted for Trump, not just white men. It's, there's a bigger picture here that we're seeing, and people are seeing, what we are seeing here is a growing disdain for the two-party system. And if you're not angry, I don't know what to tell you, Kira. Well, and the other piece that I just wanted to point out, which you, you basically said in so many words is, and we reported on it on the show, is that Biden withdrew his ground game in Florida mm-hmm. yeah. for the Latinx community. It's not like you don't have to look that far when you know how yeah. campaigns work to to see where the breakdown was. Yeah. And and there was a there was a whole we like I said we reported on the show there there was a whole big thing about it. And uh, and then it's like you have all of these pundits like what happened? What, what's going on? <laughs> no no like, guys what is really, going dude? on? Yeah. And you guys remember before we got cut off yesterday, you saw our response. Did we have like like, you know, Kate was talking about TYT before and hey, they had a mini meltdown on as bad as I, 2016. I, 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 hold on, just as a heads yes. up, I sat through the TYT uh, live stream coverage. It it was very cringe, and I just kind of like, I miss the old days. Yeah. I do. But again, like, what was our response? You saw us before this even started. We were depressed. We were sad. <laughs> we were <laughs> we broken. Were for and, a while. and you know about what we were like at the end? The exact same way. Now, that is consistency in what we do. Consistency so, in yeah. what I do is going to bed at 9.30 at mm, night and being like, mm, nice. I'll find out I'll tomorrow. I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and it Who turns out, friend? never mind, it's <laughs> still or, ongoing. Or is, it at, or is it at maybe in an alternate universe, Kira wakes up and says, oh my God, third party's won? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What happened? Oh, that, what would happened? Be, that, would be, that would be something, yes. right? So, yeah. Uh,